Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Velocity 2015 in Santa Clara. I'm here with Dana Quinn. Dana, how you doing? Doing well, thank you. So you're a CTO of Intuit uh, or a not director the CTO, of application yeah. ops? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> and so um, in your keynote, you talked a bit about the journey to the public cloud and, and, yeah. and what companies need to do. So if there's a company out there that doesn't have a cloud solution yet, what kind of workloads are most appropriate to start moving towards yeah. a public yeah. cloud type? Yeah, so uh, for Intuit, we uh, we didn't have a lot of experience with uh, uh, public cloud before, and I think there are a lot of companies in that, in that place still. So we wanted to find a nice gradual way to sort of dip our toe in public cloud and learn as we go. For us, uh, we have a lot of sensitive data about customers. We also wanted to uh, find ways to do it safely and securely, learn as we go, rather than kind of a big jump there. So. Uh, for us, we actually started with some uh, non-production workloads, but mission critical non-production workloads. So we started with build environments and uh, load test generation. Both are ones that are really key to uh, how developers get their work done and, uh, and uh, very, very important for developer productivity. So they also had a lot of benefits in terms of uh, on-demand uh, infrastructure that we could, uh, could utilize and really pushed our development teams to uh, implement those very well so we could take advantage of cloud infrastructure. So you mentioned load test. Yes. So you, you did a lot of this load testing uh, in your public cloud, yeah, and and that would be in preparation for the 14th and 15th of April. Yeah, um, things like that, definitely. Yes, and, and does does that work? That sort of testing work well for you guys? Oh yeah, definitely. And so uh, we we do need to kind of do our dry runs to prepare for the tax filing deadline, and uh, so we do a lot of load testing throughout the late winter and early spring. And so we do that load test generation from uh, from our cloud provider. It's been a great use, and uh, we've seen load test uh, generation needs go up. 12, or I'm sure we've gone up 12 times since uh, since we've moved this stuff to the cloud, so that we have sort of on-demand capacity available for teams to, to go ahead and generate loads. So it's been a it's been a sort of a great use case for us. So do you use your own tool set uh, to in the cloud, or do you? Uh, use other people's tools or some sort of mix of yeah, both? So it's a great question. Um, we're excited to announce uh, that we're open sourcing uh, the, oh, nice. the load test uh, generation system that we have. Uh, we call it Tank, Intuit Tank. You can find it on GitHub, github.com slash Intuit slash Tank. And uh, so we're open sourcing that, and that's what we've used to, uh, to load test TurboTax for many years. Uh, we used a lot of different providers, but um, over the years we found that this is a great system. Uh, writing our own system really helped us, and now we want to share it with the world. So what does Tank do particularly well that, that uh, people are going to find when they yeah. download it? So unfortunately, I'm not a subject matter expert, but, but what I've seen is uh, it has great uh, capabilities for uh, generating your load tests, uh, sort of capturing what a uh, load test needs to do, and then one of the things that's really good at is uh, sort of spinning up these instances on demand, but then also remembering to shut them down afterwards. So we have a lot of teams that want to load test, and uh, teams don't always remember to shut off their cloud capacity afterwards, and so it's really good at making sure that uh, it's, it's done uh, in a sort of bounded amount of time. Close the session. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, um, you know, one of the things that I think a lot of companies that are going to move to a public cloud and, and, and different tools and different suites of tools, um, there's always gotchas. Yes. And there's always things that are yes. going to creep up and bite you if yeah. you don't do them right. Do yeah. you have like three things that you could talk about that you would, you would alert people as their journey yeah. begins to a public cloud? Yeah, yeah. Um, we probably have 30, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, 30 that we've run across, but... Uh, well, let's do the David Letterman, since, well, he's yeah, no longer yeah, around. Yeah, so yeah we, top three. Yeah. Um, one of the challenges we faced were that, you know, we are operating in a hybrid cloud right now, so we have a fair amount of our footprint still in legacy data centers. We're really trying to find the right stuff to move into public cloud as well. One of the biggest concerns we've seen is we want to make sure our legacy management patterns don't move over into the cloud. And so, um, you know, so we've seen teams that still do things in manual ways, uh, when you have anything manual in your setup, that means you won't be able to do things like auto scaling in the cloud and on, you know, really leverage on-demand capacity. So one of our big sort of guards against that has been to uh, le look at new metrics. And my big example is average instance age in the cloud. Um, we never track that metric in our legacy data center because it didn't matter, but in cloud it really shows if you're following the right patterns and really optimizing and architecting for cloud. And so, uh, you know, to turn that into one of sort of the gotchas was it's, you know, just basically uh, uh, we didn't always push for the right patterns when people moved into the cloud to leverage the capabilities, and now that we've done that. And we really started by focusing on s a small number of teams to, to be able to do that well. Uh, second gotcha, I'll just give you yeah, two yeah. other quick yeah, ones, yeah. is uh, not watching your spending. 
we always celebrate teams spinning up capacity fast. We don't celebrate them spinning down capacity fast. And so, um, so uh, watching your spending is uh, one of the gotchas we got there. Spending or spinning? Uh, <laughs> well, really both. It's but both. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you spin up, you need to spin down. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And uh, actually, I can't remember the third one, so let's just stick with two. Those were okay. two one, uh, two of our big ones. Can you can you talk a little bit about how shifting to a public cloud can make it easier for yes. a company? Because I, you yes. know, there, there, I'm sure there are a lot of legacy companies out there that. Yeah. Are, are having a hard time getting started, but what are those benefits yeah, and, and yeah, how do you make yeah, it easier? Yeah. So we were very interested in moving to public cloud. Not uh, our first. Uh, our first goal was not to save on hosting costs, but it was to enable teams to be able to move fast and, and sort of get to outcomes uh, more agile. quickly. Yes, be agile. And uh, and so so what we've seen is that uh, when we've uh, at Intel, we're very focused on enabling small teams to go well. We talk a lot about two pizza teams. You know, the team is uh, uh, small enough that two pizzas will feed them very very well. Yeah, you know, and yeah. so uh, yeah. so. So we want to really enable those teams. We don't want them to not have to worry about the bureaucracy of dealing with hosting and all sorts of things like that. And uh, a cloud provider, you can just you know type a couple of commands and get the capacity you need to, to build your applications. What we've seen is that um, we've enabled some teams with not even a lot of money, um, some hosting dollars, to go out and trial experiments with customers and uh, get, really get working code in front of customers and try that out. And that's really the best, uh, the best test to see if a customer, if a product has legs or not. And we've really been, seen a lot of success with that. There's some things behind that. We we have pretty good frames or frameworks that into it for testing products with small amounts of customers. Uh, even our TurboTax uh, uh, group is really good at trying experiments each tax season with uh, with customers, small amounts of customers to see if it's uh, something that really resonates for the customer base. And so cloud is a great fit for that. It allows them to spin up infrastructure quickly. We don't have to put a lot of investment into it. If the product doesn't work out, and many times they don't, we just spin it down. Yeah. So it's, you uh, do it's spin it great. down though. Yeah, we do spin it down, yes. 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 <laughs> Actually, that's one of the things that I think a lot of companies need to learn is fail forward fast. Yes. If yes. it doesn't work, yes. move on, but yes. don't just keep spinning it and yeah. letting it yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you could fast forward to next year when we had the same conversation sitting here, where would you like to see Intuit and your, your presence in this space? Uh, sort of in the in the public cloud in the future, space yeah. and, and in yeah. general. So yeah. uh, what I'd like to see is more of our workloads at the company uh, moved into the public cloud. We do have now some of our key production workloads moving over. Mint.com, uh, one of Intuit's products, mm -hmm. moved late last year, and definitely like to see more of that. And I'd like to see more of uh, us understanding more about what it means for big companies like us to, to operate well, and perhaps sharing more of that here at O'Reilly. What I shared, um, or at Velocity, sorry, what I shared uh, yesterday in the keynote was a little bit of a backward looking view, but there's a lot more we can share about how big companies can operate well. And what I'd really like to see is uh, us crystallize more of our thoughts around how small teams can be effective and share that for a lot of big companies. Small and agile. Small and agile, yes. Yes, actually. Dana, I look forward right. to that conversation right. next year. Great, thank, thank you. Mike.